Hello, Virgo. It's my lady from my lady's way tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of June 11th through the 18th, 2018. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I'm closing off with my Animal Totem Tarot by Lisa Robertson. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up other than that. Let's get this show on the road. All right, so it seems like, oh goodness. <sighs> okay, you could have did this to somebody or somebody did this to you, but somebody left the situation to go back to their ex, okay? All right, and they felt like this situation it was just too emotion emotionally draining and they went back to where they came from, okay? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Mm. What's going on, what's going on, what's going on, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, so it seems like you've been treating this person, this could be the other way around too, but, like, you don't want to be around them. Okay? We're going to see why in a second. Virgo, Virgo. Sorry, guys. I got to fix this chair. Shaking too much. All right. So, it seems like um, for some of you, this is getting ready to happen if it hasn't happened already. Oh, gosh. I'm going to pull a card, but I want to look at these two. All right, so yeah, so it seems like you don't want to be with somebody because they're a manipulator. You don't want to deal with that crap, okay? Um, so it seems like this person just want, 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 always want things, but you already, you saw it coming. You saw that they was going to be trying to come get things from you, okay? So it seems like it was emotionally draining at first, but then it's just like, I see this for what it is, you know? I'm not about to deal with this so somebody's trying to detach themselves from the situation all right give me one card for this year and in reverse for the virgo all right so it seems like it was destiny i feel like it was destiny for you to meet this person and destiny for you to leave this person so i feel like they were just you know how they say um people are in your life for seasons this person's season is over okay Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, so it seems like there's some stalking going on here. A bit of manipulation, okay? Mm. Okay, so let's see what this stalking is about. What is this privacy about for the Virgo? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it won't let me take this cart. Okay, it's not letting me take that, so I'm going to just take something else. That's crazy. All right. Ooh. Okay, so it seems like somebody was stalking the other person and it caused them, like, to lose some kind of passion for them. Okay, I want to know what was found, but ain't no secret cards here. Okay, or somebody just was like, somebody could have got stalked caught stalking and then it's just like a Ugh, get away from me but this is also like somebody violating someone's personal space like <clears throat> like you can't change by yourself you go in the bathroom somebody busts in the door you on the phone somebody who's that what y'all talk about where y'all at like you know whatever and you know you go out somewhere this person calling you a thousand times trying to know who's around how many cars in the parking lot all that kind of stuff okay and it seems like you lost passion because of that this person's definitely a big time manipulator. Jeez. Okay, for some of you, this is a new relationship. And for others, you may be um, pregnant. Okay, somebody could be pregnant in this situation. So beware of that. But one or the other. Or it could be both. So protect yourself. All right, so it seems like somebody's getting ready to make a wise decision. And I feel like that is to branch off from this person. Start inching yourself away. But let's see if we can find anything else. Give me one card for this wisdom. One more for the wisdom for the Virgo. All right, that got the secrets coming out. So what are the secrets coming out? Or the secret already came out, but that's like this person... 
is I I don't want to just say clingy, but clingy, manipulative, stalkerish. Okay. Okay, so it seems like like I see I usually see like social difference when I see this card, but this time I'm feeling like somebody feels violated. Okay, and I feel like that's about to come out. And I feel like this violation is coming like, oh, you trying to play me like I'm stupid. You going through all my stuff. You following me around. You trying to manipulate me to do what I'm doing. It's like somebody is like, what is going on here? Like, I can't believe what's, what's going on here, you know? And then somebody is like, I, can, I can't deal with this. I mean, that's just what I feel, that I can't deal with this. But somebody is definitely feeling violating and thinking about all the crazy stuff that is going on. Okay, so this violation, it seems like some of you are blaming yourself, but you still are ready to walk or you're still branching away from the situation. But it's, it's like you, like, well, I'm just not good enough for this one. Or I just don't act right. It's not, it's that person don't act right. That person isn't good enough because that person is a manipulator and a stalker. So you got to stop blaming yourself for the situation because it's not you. Okay. All right. So what's going on for the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Love reading for June 11th through the 18th, 2018. What's going on for the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Alright. Alright, so it seems like things are moving pretty slow. Okay. All right, so we got the pot, Five of Pentacles. I feel like everything is moving slow because somebody's spending too much. Okay, somebody too much money going out, not enough coming in. Okay, so I feel like somebody wants to leave, but they can't because of bad spending habits. All right, so we got the Nine of Wands. So it seems like, uh, and we got the, what is this, High Priestess Reverse. So it seems like Seekers are about to coming out about somebody not fighting anymore and i feel like this is a realization like i'm not about to sit up here and and try to be in this relationship with you if you can't do the right thing you know so it's like when somebody goes to try to do something like oh let's go to the movies yeah i don't feel like it okay that kind of stuff uh i don't want to you hungry no i ate already you know that kind of stuff all right, yeah, so a third-party situation going on here. Okay, so let, let's see what this is all about. All right, let's go back to this chariot. What is this chariot first about for the Virgo? All right, okay, so I don't know what's going on here, but it seems like somebody is dealing with somebody at work. Somebody is, I don't know if this is like full-blown, or somebody is just like thinking about it, but I feel like I feel like all of you may work together or may have worked together at some point in time for some of you. But somebody's definitely seeing somebody at work. And I feel like it like happened slowly. Like first it was maybe smoking cigarettes together, conversations, then next thing you know, you guys are going out. And then next thing you know, you know, you're somewhere you shouldn't be. Okay. And I feel like that's where all this money is going. You're spending money to go on the outskirts to be have fun with your friend. Friend. All right. Well, give me one card for this Five of Pentacles. For the Virgo. All right. So the Seven of Cups. So it seems like, yeah. You got a lot of choices to make, you know, are you going to stay or you want to go, you know, but there's no passion here. And I feel like that might be why you like stepping out a little bit, you know, but it seems like you're still trying to figure out what you're going to do, but you're spending, spending too much money in the meantime. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Give me one card for this three of cups. What is this three of cups about for the Virgo? 
All right, so we got the four swords. So yeah, it seems like you feel like the passion is gone. So it seems like you might be seeing someone at work. And um, yeah, the third party situation because you feel like this relationship is un unrecoverable. Like is the nail is in the coffin. This is this this thing is done. You know, but you can't go get out yet because you are um. Spending too much money. So be careful with this fertility card here. You know, because you want to make sure you know what's going on. You know, that thing. All right. But we got the King of Swords here. And I don't know. I'm not going to judge. But this card is saying that somebody is, um, they're not being fair. They're not analyzing the situation correctly. Somebody is using their upper hand to control the situation but watch out because you are definitely being stalked if you're not the stalker you're the stalky okay so uh watch what you're doing save that money and get out the right way all right that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs if you'd like a personal reading check in the description box below email me and we can set something up other than that thanks for watching